Cornmill says, can you speak about the true meaning of law of attraction? Ooh, interesting. So the law of attraction, it doesn't work because it's the ego that wants, it's the ego that goes, oh, here's what I want. If I get this job or this amount of money or this woman or this car or this anything, then I'll be good enough. Then I'll be happy. Then I'll be complete. But you won't because the ego is never complete. The ego is desperately striving, striving to be number one, to be better, to be better than other egos, to be richer, more successful, more famous, more everything because it's not real. The ego isn't real. It knows it's not real. It knows it's going to die. When the body dies, the ego dies. There's the brain, this this matter goes. So the ego is just a, it's a, you know, it's not real. It doesn't exist. So because it doesn't exist, it's terrified of death and it's always grasping for significance. And you'll never, you'll never satisfy that ego. Not till the day you die. It's impossible. So of course, law of attraction doesn't work because it's the ego that says, oh, if I get this car, then I'll be good enough. Well, no, you won't be good enough because you got a car or a million dollars or a hundred billion dollars or anything. It's never going to make you good enough because there's nothing you need to do to be good enough. You're already good enough. You exist. You're part of the infinite one creation. The infinite one creation doesn't make mistakes. You are unique, limitless, beautiful, part of all of it we all are there's nothing you need to do for that you are that you just don't recognize that or feel it you're not living it you're not experiencing it because of the ego actually and all the brain the brainwashing and all the fucking trauma and all this fucking shit you can't experience who you truly are that's actually what's going on here so if you want to attract everything that you need that will give you what you want on the deepest level peace joy oneness unity consciousness love infinite love and abundance that's what you want is it not or is it the car is it the money is it the woman really what are you really after on the deepest level from here from the soul to remember who you are wake up out of the dream and live your soul's purpose but you can't do that when you're trying to attract the things that your ego thinks it needs to feel significant it's bullshit It'll never work. That's why nobody's happy. It doesn't matter how much women or fame or money or any of these things. None of it makes any difference. It's all ego-based bullshit. It's not real. We're all here because we want some kind of transformation from where we're at to where we want to get to. So you want to want to be a lover of life? Start with yourself. Every time that I've done something new, a new opportunity has opened up in front of me. The relationship you have with yourself is absolutely everything. A lot of things might have been out of control in your life and things might have been done to you and might have happened to you, but you still have the ability to respond to that, to, to make a different decision, to change the direction of, of your life. I have made a number of breakthroughs. There are so many cool speakers of all kinds of things all in one room and the energy at the event is phenomenal. You've got to be there in person to feel it. It was like the best thing in my life. Sasha's created something really magical here and I'm so glad that I came. 